to have shorts. That's why I wore shorts today. Just be because free. I could. That's right. To be free. I hear you. I'm with you. Well, do you know what we didn't expect you actually? We figured it all through here, so like, no one's So nobody's really prepared? prepared. So, okay, we well, can just yeah, sit here. Right. I'm good. Okay. So you're all wearing clothes now. So I'm how are you feeling about you have, having the full time job on the show? I don't mind the full time job. I just wish I didn't have to wear clothes. <laughs> I could do a perfectly good job in the same shorts. The thing is, it was really beautiful for me because I basically went out and bought everything that was in Henry's wardrobe and I could just wear it to work and not have to change. <laughs> not do makeup or do anything. I could just go to work and be done and uh, skip all the vanities. So how much of a hand did you have in getting your character more involved with, instead of just at home and retiring? You know, I don't. I'm one of these guys. Actually, with this show, it's well written. You got a bunch of people that run it. Unless I have a great objection, I just go with the flow. You know, it, it just works for me to just sort of. It's a, it's a, you know, as far as a job, it's the best job in the world. It's a great show and all the humor and all of that. But I really don't. I never really say that's out of character. I thought it was a bit wrong for Henry to maybe get out of his shorts and all of that. I didn't really, but I enjoy it too. I mean, I enjoy it. It's fun. It's a change after five years. So. I think it's an interesting dynamic to play with James that too. Because of as long as we don't lose some of that stuff that That's we true. used to do. That's true. You know, which when you get in a father son, it's a little different dynamic than sort of boss. Employee. And it sort of borders on that now. Is that something that Steve's being very careful of? I don't know. They, you know, I haven't seen as much. As this wasn't this year. It was last year. I haven't seen as much of that foundation work that we did the first couple of years. But maybe that's the way. You know, I don't. I don't know. I mean, how a series runs. You lay all that stuff out, and then you move on from it. Uh, I mean, I, I always enjoy. Let's say this: the scenes where I have to be the dad to this kid. I mean, I'm going through it. I have, you know, four sons, so I know the real stuff that happens. And stuff that we did in the beginning and the relationship we had is not that far off. So they just had to see the four from here. Where did they hide the pineapple in the episode? What's that? Where was the pineapple in the episode? You missed it? It was well I, hidden. I, 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 I have not seen the premiere. Oh, the first, the very first episode or this year? This season. What night are we on again? No, <laughs> I, I have not yet seen the, I have I don't know. I, I don't I don't play the pineapple game. <laughs> um, but uh, I haven't seen either I haven't seen either episode yet. How deep are you guys in the show? And then again I haven't seen the last three years of LA Law, so. <laughs> How deep are you into the season now in terms of shooting? What's that? How deep are you into the shooting schedule? We uh finished, we're finished, we just finished our eights, we're halfway. Okay. Right. We're going on our halfway Great. high eights. Do you still shoot in Vancouver or are you done? Yeah, we're in Vancouver. Yeah. How many, have you heard from people being disappointed that there was no Christmas episode this year? Because I think we we're look forward to, shooting well, this, it. The past we're, year, no, we missed out on the Christmas shooting present. Uh, well, oh, there wasn't, oh, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so right, the writers right, get right. here, it's going to uh, be like, what the hell? We didn't have a Christmas episode? Not this Not this past season. There was no Christmas. There was a Halloween episode? I think they're doing a Halloween Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, but you didn't even notice. We noticed. I thought we had a Christmas episode. So do we think your wife's going to come back this season? That'd be awesome. I don't know. I mean, maybe she's stumped. I don't know. You know? <laughs> I thought it was fun. I thought it was cool. But uh, I keep saying it, you know. But I think it'd be fun for him. I think I'd like to make Sean react. You know, he's a hot woman that's his potential new mother. <laughs> so how about little Sean? Is he ever going to age? Uh... Wow, uh, big question about little Sean. Hold that thought. I gotta find something out. Real okay. <laughs> Can he talk about it? He does this all the time. He goes right to Steve. Um, yeah, there's a new young man. Um, 
and uh, they just felt like uh, Liam was getting older, and they wanted to go back and keep him back at that period. And uh, and you know, uh, Carlos, who plays Gus, has sort of maintained his age thing. I mean, uh, Liam's voice was starting to change, also changed it a little bit. So yeah, that's where I had to go find out. I didn't know if we were allowed to say. <laughs> we just filmed the last first episode last week. It was weird. It was weird for me because he's like, is that my son? <laughs> so I heard Steve say they're giving you a new flashback haircut. Uh, we have one. We've already done one this season. Yeah. It's a little bit more receding. I hate that man. <laughs> I mean, I really like I said. I used to be able to show up in my shorts yeah. and no makeup. When I start getting into wigs and suits, it becomes like a job. And they put these things on now that like stretch my face back so I look like John Rivers. <laughs> it's under my wig and they like tie it around and it does that. So now that you are there at the police station more and stuff like that, your character is going to be around more. Is there something you want to see your character get involved with? You know, there's something I really want to do with my character. And that is keep the... I always said at the beginning, the thing that was interesting, the thing that appealed to me about the pilot, the script that I first received was not the fact aside that my, I was sort of with my kids. I have a 21-year-old, and it's, you know, Charlotte's a little bit older, but um, the the... There was an interesting thing that I had noticed that was you want your kids to become and do and be the successes that you are, and we expect them to sort of do it down the path we do, but they do it in their own way. That's a natural thing. And Sean, remember, all I wanted Sean to be was a cop. Well, he is a cop. You know, he is a cop, and he's actually solving more cases than I ever did. But I, I'd love to explore how... I, mean, I did it a little bit in one episode. I asked if I could do it. I guess it'll be coming up. I wanted to say, you're so close, man. Yeah, I want, I want to still feel the frustration. Like, if you just do this, you'll be a real cop, you know? And let Henry be frustrated. I like the idea, I like that whole notion that you know, Sean is doing exactly what I want him to do, but he's not doing it the way I want him to. My kids, you know? They're complete screw ups, my, my own kids. But. I had a big fight with one last night on the phone, and at the end of the day, I realized I love him, and he's actually a really good kid. He's just not doing what I want him to do the way I want him to do it. And, um, but he is succeeding in his own way. So, I'd like to just be able to push that a little bit more. Well, there was a great little moment in the first episode this season where um, James went up to do the, the thing, and you were just yeah. like, you know what, don't Yeah, no, no, not to me, right? Right. Thank you. All right, thank you. Bye.